Veronica Belmont from Mahalo Daily. And Damn. Oh my God. Does, does anyone have a towel? Oh, thanks. What? It, is this shoe polish? What? Who would even do that? Um, I need the strongest cleaner we have. Thanks. Oh, that smells pretty good. Syrup. Syrup, you gave, you gave me syrup. Okay. Well, apparently on today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to clean your keyboard. The first thing you wanna do is obviously disconnect it from any power source that it might be connected to. That way you don't get shocked. Just two little fingers like that and yoink. Well, we obviously have a lot of fluid in here, so let's take care of that first by pouring it out. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's some, that's really nice. That's, that's good stuff right there. Once we've got some of the excess crud out, it's time to start removing the keys. All you need to do is take an object, like for example, these keys, and you just wedge it underneath and pop, out they come. And there we go. That wasn't uh, too horrible, I guess. Here's some things that we need before we get started. We have some electronics cleaning fluid, some compressed air, a flathead screwdriver or some keys if we have some laying around, a dust-free, lint-free rag, and uh, some cotton swabs. Now, in a normal situation, you would be using the compressed air to clean out any dirt or debris that had lodged itself underneath the keys, but since we've got a little more of a sticky situation, I think we're gonna have to try to get some more of the syrup out of the case first before we proceed any further. Come on. Okay, now I think we should probably take this over to the sink and give it a good rinse off. Well, I don't know if there's any real protocol for doing this, so I'm just gonna rinse it out and hope for the best. It looks pretty good. It's no worse than soda being in there, right? So now we'll let it drain. I'll be frank with you, getting shoe polish off of uh, keyboard keys is not very easy. Uh, so we're gonna try some of this cleaner. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a bit of a difference, kind of. Uh, yeah, so good for normal cleaning. Not so much with the shoe polish, but you know, we're just trying to give you a good example here, so stop complaining. Also, under normal circumstances, you would use Q-tips to get into the little spaces in your keyboard to get the dust and particulate matter out. Um, since we did a pretty good job of washing it out with water anyway, we don't really need to focus on that too much. But, once again, not a, not a typical case. Well, now that we've cleaned up most of our components, make sure you wait at least a day before plugging it back into your computer. You have to make sure it's dry or else you have a chance of frying the circuitry. And now for the moment of truth. Plug this puppy in. <laughs> Kinda doesn't work. Well, that obviously didn't work exactly the way we planned it, but as you can see, it it looks a little bit better, right? Right? It just doesn't work at all. Hey, it's the first time. Stuff happens, right? So here's a regular keyboard. If you want to just get the dust and debris out of one of these guys, you can use your compressed air. Just shoot it, shoot the stuff out. We already showed you how to take the keys off, so if you want to do a really thorough cleaning, you can take the keys off and do it that way. So that's good. And then if you've got some some crud on your keys. You can use a little bit of the cleaner with your lint-free cloth or Q-tips. Just get a little bit on there. And then just clean it like that. And you're good as new. Well, it's not too difficult when you uh, aren't dealing with combining Aunt Jemima and technology. I'm Veronica Belmont, I'll see you next time.